Before we start, I would like to say that my morning routine does not always look the same. I try to do this every weekday, but there are some days when waking up at 5 a.m. is just not happening. Sometimes I wake up just in time to get to work. However, it's a habit that I'm working on building, and what works for me may not work for you, and it's so important to listen to your body and do things that make you feel happy. Each person's routine is unique, so find what brings you joy to your mornings. routine my name is Frida I am and I am so happy that you are here today okay first of all if you are watching this video it may be for a couple reasons number one you want to start waking up earlier or second you want to start cultivating new habits for 2024 and you are in the right place I give you all my tips that have been helping me to be consistent and to wake up at 5 a.m. and you know really enjoy this process uh, I've been waking up at 5 a.m. since the beginning of 2023 and I really think that I have mastered this you know this process of me coming to a to a place where I can really enjoy waking up and I don't see it as oh my god I have to wake up you know I'm gonna have a whole day together today I'm filming a couple days in my life I'm gonna take you to work today uh, I'm a Pilates instructor so I have three classes that I'm teaching today and I need to get ready by the way so I'm gonna be doing my makeup I just love this one so I'm gonna be using this one for now but so let me show you um, I think in order for you to to really enjoy this process of waking up really early and doing all this is that you have to romanticize your morning routine you cannot just wake up and immediately like you know think that you're gonna enjoy this process it's going to be a bit hard in the beginning so in order to really enjoy this process and to really feel good and comfortable on waking up at 5 a.m is that this is your time you have to change completely your mindset of wait this is so hard i cannot do it it's impossible for me no you have to change that and start seeing it seeing waking up at 5 a.m. as something that you really enjoy and it's kind of fun it's your time for you literally uh, it feels that the time I have just stopped when you wake up this early the city is so quiet there is not that much things around it's just literally your time so you have to see it as kind of gift that you are giving to yourself to slow down and to really prioritize yourself and you have to really really have something that you look forward to wake up for me it's literally my matcha so i bought different types of matcha this one is the blueberry blueberry but i have vanilla and i have i have blueberry i have normal matcha and i have different ones you know and then it, for me, it's kind of my treat, you know, like, oh, I wake up at 5 a.m. and after I shower, I meditate, I take my time doing my skincare. You have to make it really cozy and really comfortable and easy for you to wake up. I think like a lot of people make the mistake that they wake up at 5 a.m. and they're doing really hard things, you know. I think for me, that didn't really work out. But what really motivated me to wake up at 5 a.m. it was my matcha, and just I uh, knowing that nothing at that time is really moving. You know, it's like everything is so quiet. I live with my boyfriend, and he's literally sleeping right now. So the whole place is by myself, and I love that. You know, those were my cats. I'm sorry. So you literally have to look at all about like this is your time. Nothing is moving. And it's just you right now doing your skincare, your makeup, whatever. And as well, um, if you really think about this, you spend so much time giving time to people, to different types of, you know, circumstance. And we have to be a little bit selfish, like sometimes waking up a little bit more early to just produce yourself and to really take care of yourself and mental health mental health is so good for you 
And one other point is that I don't wake up every day at 5 a.m., okay? So I don't, and I don't think, I don't wanna say I can't do it, but I don't think that's my priority to wake up every day at 5 a.m. I do it three times per week, and I think that's really enough for me. The other days, I wake up at 6 a.m., and yeah, it's kind of the same routine, but I just wake up a little bit more late, one hour late, and I mean, it's still kind of pretty earlier, early, but if I can choose between my five and six, I think I feel more productive on the days that I wake up at 5 a.m. And I know that it's only one hour different, but I just feel really, really productive. I feel like I get more things done and I, um, I really like meditating. So when I wake up at 5 a.m., I feel like my meditations are better. And I think there is some science behind this. Um, I think your brain is more your brain can focus better at like uh, so people your brain can focus better to meditate around 4 and 5 5 a.m. so something like that I actually have to look it up but I remember I read about it on the book or Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza he really said that the best time to meditate is 4 a.m. and I tried once to wake up at 4 a.m. to meditate and it was extremely hard. I I remember I woke up at 4, I did my whole morning routine and then around 9 a.m. I was so tired. I was so, so tired and I just felt that the day lasts forever. I, it was just so crazy, honestly. city is so quiet and I just love that you know it felt so good so now I'm on my way to work uh, it's kind of chilly it's a little bit cold okay so guys we're just starting the minutes I'm just like to settle down first and shed my prompts that I'm gonna be using so today we're gonna be using the sliders we're gonna be using a ball and two weights. And I normally play some music, but before the class starts, I just really want to focus on my posture. And you know, I'm not perfect. Uh, I'm still developing as an instructor, and I think I will be doing my whole life. So I really like these sliders because I love reformer, but. I just don't like the idea that I need to specifically go to a studio where I can use a machine and I love that we can work or do Pilates on the mat. Sometime until my next class, I already teach two of my classes. I have one more, but then it's kind of early right now. It's So I have some time before my next class. I'm doing some work and I'm gonna have my lunch. Honestly, this is the most lazy lunch ever, but it's so high in protein. So what I do is just some rice. Oh my god. Yeah. So it's some rice. Is some tuna and then I add kimchi and then I add sesame oil and then I'm gonna have this because I'm starting to feel hungry and I will be teaching from 12 30 until 1 30 and then after that I need to run back to downtown <laughs> shower I feel so tired and I just feel that I really need 
to refresh myself and I want to feel clean and everything. So, so I want to do a mask, you know, a little self-care routine right now. Let's open it up together. Oh. Oh my God, this feels so good. After a long day, you know, like I'm working all day, talking to people and it's so cold. Oh, this feels amazing. This is so good. Okay, so this say that I need to wait 50 minutes and I'm gonna remove it in a bit. For now, I think I'm gonna make a smoothie or something because I feel super hungry, so. Let's see what I can do. It's, this is the best part, I really think. Oh, that was so good. I really like how it make my skin feel. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring my skincare. I, I feel so tired. I teach Pilates all day long today. And then I went to the gym after. I am so sleepy. I think I'm just gonna take a nap. Yesterday as well, I teach all day. And then the next couple days I'm off. So I'm super excited. I'm really, really looking forward for that. It's kind of hard for me to take naps, but I feel that today I really need to take a really really good nap good morning i am so happy i'm going to my yoga class right in the morning i think honestly the best way to start your day is always with some kind of movement whatever works for you but for me i just love going to yoga or pilates of course but um i think i really need yoga i feel super sore and what I like about yoga is that it kind of allows me to move my my body around. And can we please ignore my pimple that I just got here? I am so sad. <laughs> and I don't want to wear that much makeup today. I kind of want to have a greater skin. And it's not like, I mean, I normally don't wear that much makeup. But I feel like especially, but I feel like especially when I have pimples or my skin is sensitive i don't want to pry any more products so i'm just gonna have a very natural face today i have like five minutes to just put myself together a little bit because as well i just don't like just to go with i just wake up type of face the gym that i'm going is like 25 minutes walking from my home so that's really nice it's gonna give me time to listen to my podcast I love a good morning walk, but during winter, it's honestly a little bit hard. I'm happy though that it's not that cold. I think it was like four degrees or something. So let's see how it goes. Today is my day off and I feel that it was a bit difficult to wake up today. Like, I really, really wanted to skip my workout, but let's not do that. I think, you know what, after I do my workout i'm just gonna feel really good i'm very happy that i actually did it so um let's go i see you pulling up to meet me in your car i know you didn't have to drive you don't live far from me i know the friends are baby something's on the For taking all this time, but I got to tell you from the from yoga, it was so good. I did some journaling and I just have the time for myself. I will leave down below my journal prompts for my morning routine. I normally I always change, but kind of those are the ones that always stick with me. I will spread that later. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna shower. I haven't washed my hair in like five days, so it's time to do it. And I'm gonna be wearing this. I'm just gonna be home and I'm gonna, I need to clean the kitchen because it's a mess. So I'm gonna be wearing this hoodie that I just love it so much. It's so oversized and it's just so cozy, you know? I feel very wrapped in it and I just love the feel and I think it's perfect for winter.
I know that we want to stick to our routine and we want to be a little bit more productive, but during winter it's just a little bit more difficult because it's just so cold outside. When we wake up, it's still dark and we just want to be on bed and that's absolutely normal. I think around this time of the year, it's really important to give yourself a little bit more compassion and understand yourself that, you know, it's harder to wake up a little bit early, especially during those times. Having a morning routine during winter is so beneficial for you. And you don't need to wake up at 5 a.m. or you don't have to wake up at 7. You just, you have to wake up at least one hour before starting your work day. So for me, for example, waking up at 5 a.m., I only do it three times per week. And I do it because I need to start teaching at 8 a.m. So it gives me time, if I wake up at 5 a.m., it gives me time to prepare mentally, to really have a positive attitude, and to really take care of myself before I take care of others. So I know that it's just a little bit hard to wake up, but I wanna give you some points here of why you should rethink waking up a little bit more earlier during winter and actually create a morning routine that makes you feel good. So it's very important during winter that you make your routine really easy and something that you are excited for it. It can be, for example, for me, I wake up and I really look forward to have my matcha in the morning and that quiet moment at home where nothing is moving, I'm, all, I'm the only person awake at that time. So I just really enjoy that time by myself as well when I go out and the city is just so peaceful, you know, like around 6 a.m. The city is just so quiet and I just love that. So it's very important for you to look forward for moments like that. So that will make you feel excited and it's something that you actually look forward. So starting your day early as well gives you, give you a head start of productivity. It can be that I don't know, after work you back home and then you start catching up with news, but why you don't do that in the morning? So you start focusing all your attention in things that are really important for you right in the morning instead of leaving it for later. You will find that you can accomplish more in the morning when everything is so quiet that in afternoon. I personally, this is up to you and the type of person that you are, but I, will, I can, Confident say for most most people when they wake up a little bit more early and they start doing the tasks that they need to do Early in the day they can feel more accomplished that in the afternoon as well Winter mornings are just so peaceful because everything is just so dark and it's just so chilly And if you make it you home cozy, I don't know for example for me I like to turn on my candles. I like to have my match in the morning I can even read a book, you know, it's just something so cozy and so special about waking up a little bit more early during winters as well. It's just help you to do some reflection and to take a few moments to appreciate the stillness and to set up positive intentions for the day as well. If you, you already know this, but I'm a fan of waking up and start my day with a high note. That means that I like to start working out right in the morning and it's just so good, especially during winter, we tend to feel a little bit more depressed. We just feel sad because we don't get that much sun or things like that. But if you wake up in the morning and you start exercising right in the morning, I swear, just do it for two weeks. It's going to completely change your life. And I know it can be really hard to wake up and go to do exercise, but as I said earlier, you need to make it cozy. You need to make it something that you really look forward to it. And if you wake up and then you have your your tea, your matcha, coffee, whatever you want to have in the morning. And after that, you give yourself 10 minutes to read a book. And after you go to the gym for 30 to 40 minutes, you need to do for a high intensity workout, something that just feels good for you. It can be yoga, it can be Pilates, it can just be doing treadmill, whatever works for you. But this will really boost your energy and it will help you to release a dopamine. A dopamine? <laughs> So anyways, it will help you to release those hormones and it just, just overall, it just help you to set a positive tone for the rest of the day. This is especially crucial, crucial during the dark and cold winter days. You're going to feel so good, I promise. And you know what? It's just so important after you do all this to be really consistent and be kind with yourself. It's going to be days when you're not going to feel all full of energy and all ready to wake up early and that's absolutely fine. 
you need to understand yourself that you have to understand that, that not every day you are going to be your best self in the way that you need to wake up at 5 a.m go to the gym do that read a book you is that is impossible but you still need to be consistent with a routine with a morning routine that makes you feel good and works for you Thank you.